everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel, and welcome back to the 2023 winter campaign for Arkham Horror, the card game. Sunday when we climbed to the Forbidden Peaks, we picked up six experience, but Norman picked up a mental trauma. In addition, both Dr. Malasina and Avery Claypool are dead. Dr. Cena fell as we climbed to the summit, and Avery lost his life with Norman. In this video, we're going to upgrade the decks, and we're going to have the tarot reading for the next scenario. As the lead investigator from the last scenario, let's go say hello first to Norman. Hello, Norman. We're not going to do anything crazy here. Let's just upgrade both of his copies of Shriveling to level 3. We've spent a lot of time with Mystics on the channel, but for those of you who are happening on this on the channel for the first time, let's take a quick look at Shriveling level 3. So it's still a 3 cost to play. We pick up a Will on Commit. Still the 4 charges. Now we get plus 2 Will and still deal plus 1 damage. And still only take 1 Horror if we reveal a bad symbol. So we've definitely spent a lot of time with Shriveling on this channel. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this all sleeved up. I'll get the new Shrivelings shuffled into the deck, and then that will do it for Norman's upgrades. And we'll just go say hello next to Tony. Hello, Tony. This round of upgrades is going to focus on upgrading some of your weapons. All of these upgrades cost two experience, so upgrading both copies of 41 Derringer and one of the copies of Mauser C96 will spend your 6 experience quite nicely. So this is my first time looking at some of these cards, so let's go ahead and take a look. Got the 41 Derringer. Still 3 ammo. We still get plus 2 combat. If we succeed by 1 or more this time, this attack deals plus 1 damage. And once per turn, if I succeed by 3 or more, I get to take an additional action. And then the Mauser, we get plus two combat this time, still deal plus one damage. If we succeed by two or more, I still get to do either one, but now if I succeed by four or more, I get to do both instead. And the resource cost on the level two is actually down one resource as well, so might be something to keep an eye on there. Anyway, it doesn't really change the, the count of weapons in the hand. Just gives me some more powerful ones, but anyway, that will do it for Tony's upgrades. So now we can move back up top for the tarot reading. Let's get into the tarot reading, and as usual, we have to start off with Tony's Damned. So, we can go ahead and give the tarot deck a quick shuffle. And a cut, and we'll deal out these three cards for our tarot reading. The first card up once again is for Tony's Damned, so we find the Tower 16. So Tony's going to have to add a random basic weakness to his deck, but he gets to pull it out after the scenario is done. So I'm going to come over to my iPad. I'm not going to bring it in shot, but I am going to get Tony a new weakness. Uh, basic weakness selector. Does this one have... no. I don't think this one has... I don't think this one has everything set up the way I like it. Basic Weakness Selector... Here we go. Okay, this'll work. Let's see, it's under... I think it's under Formulas. Here we go. Oh joy! I just saw what weakness it generated, and I have a feeling we're not going to like seeing that one too much, but... Let's see, weaknesses, 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 weaknesses. Ah, here we are. Oh, this is going to be fun. 
So Tony's random weakness that he's going to have to add to his deck is Day of Reckoning. On Revelation, attach Day of Reckoning to the current agenda, then search the Chaos Bag for an Elder Sign and seal it on Day of Reckoning. Joy! So losing the Elder Sign for an agenda is going to be pretty painful there, Tony. Um, where did I put my pen down? Ah, here it is. Just making some notes here, so... Alright, now we can look at the next two cards for the group reading. So first up on tarot card. The full zero. Each investigator not defeated during this scenario earns plus two experience during its resolution on the good side. Or the bad side, each investigator defeated during this scenario, during this game, earns minus two experience during its resolution. Then the other card we have... Judgment 20. When the game begins, replace a skull token in the cast bag with a zero. Swap them back after the game ends on the good side. Or on the bad side, swap the highest non-negative modifier or non-negative token in the cast bag with a skull. Swap them back after the game ends. I think I'm going to run it like that. So. Each investigator not defeated during this game will earn two, plus two experience during its resolution, but we are going to have to swap the swap a plus one for a skull. So I'll make some notes. What is that? Judgment twenty. Okay. Alright, and that will do it for this upgrades video. Sunday we're going to continue the 2023 winter campaign with the third scenario, City of the Elder Things. Wednesday we're back to another familiar deck builder as we play Aeon's End. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.